It appears the U.S. is making progress in slowing the spread of the coronavirus. A top U.S. model shows fewer deaths by August than previously projected. And President Trump's aides hope to reopen the country by next month. However, some officials have lingering concerns. Our Bailey Wilborn takes a closer look. There are positive indications in the battle against the COVID-19 pandemic. Obviously, the deaths remain much higher than, than we would like to see. Um, but, but it remains the case that we are seeing uh, signs that we're starting to flatten the curve. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, says summer vacations are a possibility. But the head of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says even once the current pandemic eases, the U.S. can't be caught flat-footed in 2021. Get prepared for next year which will be another challenging time. Dr. Robert Redfield says he wants to improve early case identification, isolation of the sick, and contact tracing. I think we have to be direct and honest about it. Over the last 10, 20, 30 years, we've underinvested in public health in this nation. Uh, we're in the position now of uh, preparing uh, a, a significant expansion. The CDC has more than 500 of its people in all 50 states, and the agency is working to increase that number over time. But I want to be able to have it so we respond to it next year with the fundamentals of public health. We don't have to go to the serious mitigation steps that were taken to get us under control today. New York, which has suffered the most cases in the U.S. Thursday, reported its lowest increase in hospitalization since the start of the crisis. However, two other major cities, Philadelphia and Washington, D.C., are expected to become the new hotspots for the deadly virus. I'm Bailey Wilborn, reporting.